Hello Internetikins, Bowen339 here with Double Buff Productions, bringing you State Decay Breakdown, Part 7. You'll see I'm playing as Daniel Tanner, uh, Rosa Tanner's brother, older brother. I played as her and Liana Carter, our newest member of the group, last episode. Played as Ed the episode before that, still not playing as Robert. And now we are on our way, because there's a whole bunch of chores here to do at night, I'm not sure why. But we have found another hero, and we are just going to kill these zombies and see who it is. Hopefully it'll be someone good. Because the more I thought about it, Liana was a pretty good find, having edged weapons already leveled up to the max. Kind of encroaching on Robert's turf of being the uh, edged weapons guy, but seeing as I'm not playing with him, I needed a suitable substitute. And she seems to fit the bell fine. So, if we can finally get away from all these zombies. Like I said, I do apologize. It's at night again. Uh, very difficult to see. A lot more zombies that are going to be bothering us. But I think that's what makes it fun. I also have a uh, weapon that's about to be destroyed. So, things might heat up very quickly. And uh, shout out to Watch17. And shout out to me for not going busy. That's my friend. Let's just, uh, cut right here. And we're back. Who have we got? That was pretty crazy. Lincoln. Lincoln Voss. What do you think? Okay. I think you should join us, Lincoln. Let's do this. Yeah, it, it pro they probably made some new characters to be the heroes, because I don't remember this. He has an axe. He's like a woodsman or a, the lumberjack. Speaking of the woodsman, uh... I've been trying to play uh, The Wolf Among Us, and the thing is, I really enjoyed the first episode. Like, I really loved uh, Walking Dead Season 1, so I'm like, anything by Telltale is probably going to be good. And if you haven't played Wolf Among Us, that holds true. It was a fantastic game. And honestly, I think I probably liked it, at least Episode 1, I liked more than Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 1. But that's just me. And episode two of Walking, not Walking Dead, Wolf Among Us. Hey, stop getting in here. Lincoln's on his way with his axe. But episode two of Wolf Among Us dropped this week, or last week. I'm not sure when this video is going up. It was last week as of recording this. And we have a new survivor. So I'm like, hey, I should go buy... It's really dark. Go out into the moonlight. Hey, Ed. So I'm like, oh, and let's start something new. Let's check in on Rosa, I think, my sister. But I'm like, hey, I want to go play episode two. And I bought the season pass. That's how much I liked this game. I'm definitely going to play the next episodes. And I'm like, I really don't know how season passes work, but I figured I'll be saving money in the long run. So I think that f the Friday it came out, the Friday right after it came out, I got a code uh, in my messages saying, hey, go download episode two. Hey, shut up, Lily. I'm telling a story, a customer service story. And I'm like, hey, I'll go download it now. Just type in this code. Well, it didn't work. And I'm like, well, that's weird. I really want to play this game. So I did something I never do. I called customer support. And I don't know why. I'm just so apathetic about things. Like, usually when codes don't work, it's for minor things. So I'm like, eh, whatever. I don't need to bother anybody about this. It's like 48 hours of live or a month of live. It's not that big of a deal. But for this one, I really wanted to play. And I really wanted it free since I paid for it already. So I called Xbox. Oh, no. My 2x4 nails broke. Well, did the 2x4 the, 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 the break or just the nails? Anyway, this is bad. I'm trying to tell a story, zombies, and save my sister. Where was I? Customer support. So I called Xbox. I start talking to this really friendly Hispanic man. I think his name was Enrique, and that's not me being racist. That was his name. They had no idea what I was talking about. They're like, you got a code for this game? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, hey, you need to come back. Anyway, I'm like, I give them the code, and they're like, yeah, that code's invalid. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll try and, uh, help with you. An hour later, I'm still on the phone with Enrique. And he's like, I have, I can't help you, man. 
I need to escalate your case to a tier three case. I don't know what tier I was on to start with, but tier three sounded pretty impressive. So I'm like, all right, that sounds really good. And he's like, all right, uh, I'm notifying my tier three guys. You'll hear back from them in uh, about four business days. And I'm like, thank you. Hung up and then threw the phone at the wall. Because this was, first of all, this was a Friday. So the four business days was next Thursday. And I never got a call back from him. It's the uh, Saturday after that Thursday. I'm starting to feel very Wolf Among us list. And like, I see people, other people, other YouTubers playing it. And I'm like, I can't watch the videos because I was going to play it. And I just feel excluded. And something happened over there. Not sure what. Dead Man Level 3. That's something. Also, in the last episode... I f think I figured out what those were. In Breakdown... Hey, shut up, William. I'm explaining things. Oh, hey, Rosa. In Breakdown, you get these badges, which increase your score, and I'm still trying to explain stuff! I think somebody just tried to... Yep, somebody's shooting at me. I was shooting at the zombie, but they're probably going to hit me. They are a terrible shot, too. Really? Thank you. You get these badges. Which are for, like, challenges or whatever, and they increase your score at the end. Completely pointless. Um, the score, I think, doesn't really matter, except for the leaderboards, if you care about such things. And I don't really. It's not tied to any of the achievements, as far as I know. Getting a good score. Although, the achievements might have to do with the challenges. Hmm. I'll get back to you on that. Anyway. <laughs> it's, uh... It's still night, and I'm running to go kill a feral zombie. I have 17 bullets and not a single weapon to kill it with. So, should I just keep going? It is night, and I'm apparently a terrible shot now. We're just gonna keep going, you know? Screw it. It'll be, it'll be a good episode. I am confident in Daniel Tanner to be able to survive anything the apocalypse throws at him even though see he likes to he has nothing wrong with him no bad stats so I'm feeling pretty good there's a there's a truck here I could take that not going to cuz oh well, his cardio is pretty high nope we're just gonna keep going who needs weapons when you've got drop kicks hmm when you got drop kicks, there we go. Oh, did I miss it? Were there scavengers? Huh. Oh, it was probably those scavengers way up top near the campsites. Yeah, screw them. I'm I'm not helping you. Is that a screamer? No, oh, we're gonna sneak up to him. Solid snake style. It's not really solid snake style. I can't go prone. But he's not even gonna expect it. Boom! Take that, screamer zombie. Scream about that. Alright. Let's find... <sighs> Come on. You're embarrassing yourself, Daniel. Alright. Eli! Psst. Hey, sure could use let's go find this feral. Okay. I'll follow your lead. Let's wreck him up. Yeah, boy, let's do this. I love Daniel because he always talks street. He's like, yo, dog, and yeah, boy. It's pretty funny seeing as he's like the whitest character. He's going bald, and like, it's just funny. Nothing here. This one's clear. Just gonna search up a bit. Have something to take back. Pry bar. Hey, I finally have a weapon. You know what? Okay. Looks like there Screw it. I said I was doing this uh, weaponless. I just destroyed that pry. I probably didn't need to destroy it. I probably could have just unquipped it unequipped it, but, you know, I, uh, I commit. That was actually a pretty bit, that was probably a stupid idea. Yeah, I know how to deal with ferals, though. I'll, uh, pass that knowledge on to you guys. Consider this one's pretty first. easy. You just wait for them to charge at you, jump. When they jump at you, you just, uh, I just kicked that zombie in the stomach and he knocked his head off. Hello! What you do? 
I think we found him. Yep. I see one. Oh, this is a bad idea. I didn't want to do this. I can't see him. Nope. Oh. You wait for him to charge at you, dodge out of the way, and then he'll be like, Oh, I'm a defenseless. Alright, that didn't work. Why did that not work? This might uh, end badly. Dropkick! Is that it? Boom! And then you just split their skulls open. Nothing to it. Ferals, once you know how to deal with them, pretty simple. It says there's something. Uh, no, there's nothing in here. There's trying to be something in here. What is that over there? How's it going back home? Looks like we have an issue in the kitchen. Oh, it's a screamer. Issue in the kitchen? What was that? Action delay. We don't have every. We need whisks, guys. Whisks! I don't know why. Okay. We'll uh, get whisks. Sorry I didn't get to show you f me finding canvas for the infirmary. I was uh, on my way back to start the next episode as Liana. And it's just like, hey, I'm going to search in this building. And what do you know? There were uh, canvas right there. Nowhere near where it said it would be. And I'm like, oh. I, uh, I stopped the internetikins from having a good canvas search. Trust me, it was exhilarating finding it. Hordes. Destroying hordes helps everyone, apparently. That is true. That's a very good point. There's a little breaking in ring here. We're looking for whisks. When I think whisks, I'm probably thinking the uh, liquor cabinet. Come on. Nothing. I'm surprised by that. When I think whisks, I'm thinking bathroom cabinets. Nope. Well, we found some medicine. That's okay, something. I'll run this home. Hey, there you go. Medicine's always in those little cabinets. Nine out of nine times. That's pretty. That's a pretty good percentage. Nine out of nine. When I think whisks, uh, kitchens are pretty low on the list. All right. Well, there's a first time for everything. I'm just gonna kick this guy in the head until he dies. And what else is in here? Found a gun. When I think kitchens, I think guns on the on the shelves. All right, time to get these whisks home. Before that horde sees me and eats me. Can we get past it? Who knows? Hopefully. Run. Yeah, we're fine. Run, Daniel. 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 Bang. How about that fight that Rosa got in last episode? That was pretty crazy. There was like two hordes, and then I was really loud during my uh, searching, so more zombies came. It was a hassle. I almost killed Gabriella with all the uh, explosions and uh, firebombs I was throwing. There's a zombie horde headed towards home, apparently. We will deal with those hordes next episode. Because it's probably a big task. I'm also going to deal with those besieged survivors. That sounds cool. I'm almost home. We'll crack open a cold one for you. No, you won't. I'm never going to get that beer. You always promise me. Never going to get it. Now we can prepare that big meal. Bingo. Bingo, bango. Found this while I was out. All right. Unload everything. And time to sign off. Thank you, Internetigans, for watching. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe, all that youtube -y stuff you do. So Check out our other videos on the channel. They're pretty funny. At least I think they are. But I'm a little biased. This has been Bone339. Thank you for watching, and goodbye! <laughs>